Hey y'all, good morning. Nate here. I wanted to take a minute and go through best practices to W block a file in Civil 3D. So, bouncing over into Civil 3D here, I just have a CAD file open. This is actually one of the tutorial files that comes with Civil 3D. And what we're going to do is we're going to W block it, also known as a write block. And what this is, this is a great way to take data out of an existing file and bring it into a new file. Generally speaking, you have some sort of corruption that something isn't working in this particular file. And I've done all the measures I can within it. I've done an audit. I've done a recover. I've done a dash purge. I've done a purge. All those tactics haven't fixed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the data out of this file and bring it into a new block file. So first thing, let's get the file open. And you can see we have model space here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on the, uh, on the wheel, just get a feel for what our elements on our file are. So this is a pretty small file. And this is everything that's within our drawing window here. So what we wanna do is we wanna take all this data out, bring it to a new file. So first thing we're gonna do is type lay on on the command line. And followed by that, we're gonna type lay thaw. So lay on, I usually do it twice just to make sure everything's on. Lay on, lay thaw. So now we have all our elements visible to grab. So now let's run our W block command. So W, B L O T K. And now we have the right block dialog box here. So a couple different ways to do this, and this is the best way to make sure you don't carry anything over uh, into that new file. So you can do an entire drawing. And this isn't the best practice because it's going to grab everything, even everything in that model space, even if it's way out in you know, no person's land. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the objects. And we'll go right here and we'll select our objects. So now that we're in model space and we have everything visible right here, I usually zoom out just a little bit and then do a drawing window, select everything, and say enter. And I always retain them so they come in as the as their objects versus you could come have them come in as a block. Uh, I haven't seen much different performance with that in terms of corruption or no corruption. So drawing file name, new block, insert units, feet. So we'll just keep that as the default with the file was in. And then we'll say okay here. So all right. And I already have a new block in my desktop, so we'll just replace it. And it'll say, do you want to include the map information? We'll say yes. And then we'll go ahead, we'll grab our new block file off our desktop. Right here, new block, you can see the timestamp 1020, 1020. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And now would be when you would go through those corruption preventative measures afterwards. So it's probably a good idea to start with a recover, audit, dash purge, purge, all those things, repair this new drawing file, and then test whatever you uh, were trying to, whatever wasn't working previously. So I want to thank you for your time, for tuning in, and uh, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later.